welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm going to be doing an updated video um, explaining how to work within Adobe Bridge. So Adobe Bridge, obviously, is an Adobe product. Um, it is a great resource for photographers and those who like to keep their photos organized or files organized. Um, and especially for anyone who's going to be editing photos. <clears throat> so I made one of these videos several years ago for my students, I'm a high school teacher, and while I know quite a bit about photography, I knew nothing and still know nothing about recording <laughs> videos, audio, sound, all that stuff. And people are haters, so they just, um, ripped into that video because the sound quality was awful so I didn't wasn't using a microphone at the time and you could hear the fan running in my computer and evidently that just drove people nuts so um, as promised I have updated um, or I'm doing an updated version of the video so um, I'm just gonna walk through a few things and um, this will be a short tutorial and just show you how I utilize bridge um, for basically organizing files, renaming, things like that. So I've opened Adobe Bridge. Um, you can pull, I have the film strip option set. I like that versus um, the other views. So um, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit so I can see the labels of my folders and I'm going to select um, the one that I want here. And um, I'm gonna walk you through just a couple things. So how to rename a uh, an entire folder or one picture file or how to uh, define where I was going or how to rename multiple. And we are looking for this. Okay, so this is the folder that I'm gonna be working in. I have 10 images placed in here. And if you are a photographer and you, um, you know, take millions of pictures like I always used to um, when I was taking on clients, um, I know that a lot of times, um, or I feel like it's best to deliver images to a client with them all named in some kind of sequential order. Um, so in order to do that, what you would do is open the folder that you want renamed. You would select all of the images. So I'm just gonna hit Control A or Command A on, on a Mac computer. And if you right click on any of them, you can go to Batch Rename. And then from here, um, you can rename it in a new location if you want or in the same folder. I'm gonna keep it in the same folder. And I want to, I'm gonna remove all of these. So I'm going to choose how I want it renamed and it's gonna show you an example of how it's going to look. So I could put some text. So if I want the beginning to say live and viv um, and then I can have a number after it if I want. So we're just gonna do sequence number like that or I could do one digit and keep it like that and it's going to rename all of them so once I select rename this is so time-saving just takes it a second and you can see now they are all renamed and I love it um, so other things that you can do you can you know click right click on here um, you can open the picture in camera raw and do some editing from there I have a whole nother tutorial on how to use camera raw I will link below um, you can uh, you know select multiple pictures and move them or organize them um, the batch editing or I'm sorry the batch renaming to me is one of the biggest things um, that I use bridge for and I just like seeing the pictures so if you've ever noticed if you shoot in raw so if you're a photographer and um, your files are raw files, a lot of times on most computers, you cannot view those files just like in your normal folder, you know, Windows viewer when you open those. But in Adobe Bridge, you can. So no matter what the file type is, you'll be able to see the thumbnail. Again, that is 
crucial if you are a photographer especially so that you can go through and eliminate um, you know pictures that you don't want to keep or sort them out um, when I'm doing a batch of images I would usually create two folders over here so to create a new folder you just go to file new folder and I would my computer is moving slow today I would name it so I'm just gonna put keep and then I would make a second folder discard and I would select the pictures that I want to keep oh look how cute those are um, and then select the pictures that I don't want to keep which I do want to keep these but you get what I mean and you just drag them over to discard and then it's an easy way to organize stuff um, so that is just a very simple um, rundown of bridge there are a million other things you can do in here um, but this was primarily just showing the benefit of using it if you are a photographer. So again, I will include a link below um, to the old video that's a little more in depth. The, yes, the sound is awful, um, bear with me. <laughs> and I will also include a link to the working in camera raw. So that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.